done. I suppose. I can be done whenever you tell me to shut up, dear. That's just how it works. That's not me. Hi again. My name is Rebel, and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing a haul video on an estate sale, two more kids' consignment sales, and a thrift store. Wait, we got to add this thing. I keep forgetting. Oh, Robert's adding this to his corner of the wall. That you have hidden behind you so nobody can see it. <laughs> because beautiful, beautiful. But, but that, is, that is that is Jeff is. Hansen. Yes. He's one of the triplet brothers from the movie Slapshot. We would have him all set up, but we're not smart enough to figure out the stand. The instructions look very complicated. All right, so we're going to start with the estate sale. I didn't go to it. I looked through the pictures and was like, my time would be better well spent working. And so I didn't go, and Robert ended up finding this for me. Well, he calls me from there. And they actually had a tote of Barbies, right? Mm -hmm. For how much? Like $150, something right. like that. But I spied these inside that tote. So I asked him to take them out and go ask her if we could just buy these because they go with this. This is Fisher Price Dream Dollhouse. Mom, Dad, one of the babies, and the van. Not sure if I'll put them all together, maybe. I paid $3 for this, and then she ended up charging us a dollar each for the dollhouse figures. Um, but I don't know. I'll have to check comps. I may end up selling these individually and then this by itself. More than likely, that's what I'll end up doing. And then he grabbed this for me also. This is Cabbage Patch. Um, let's say the 90s. Let me look. Can't remember. One of the babies. Oh, I ain't seeing dates. The tag's kind of faded. But I think I have another one that's like this. You know, it's got the cloth body. Um... Depending on comps, I may just go ahead and add this one to the other one. I'm thinking $10, $15 for it. All right, and then the weekend before we went to Peaches to the Beaches, we went to two consignment sales. I'm not sure why these two, every twice a year, have it on the same weekend. One is in Kingsport, one is in the gray area. But they do every year. So I had Robert go with me. I think we went on a Friday, which isn't half price day. But one of them, this one that I'm going to show you right now, I think everything was already 25% off. And then the next day it was going to be 50% for those things that are marked um, that they can be discounted. Um, but we'll have footage from those two um, on the picking channel when, when it gets, it's in the queue. How about that? This was marked five dollars pretty sure this was the sell that everything was either 20 or 25 percent off already but hello kitty i tend to pick a lot of them up unfortunately both of these are dirty so i'll have to run them through the shower um i'm hoping eight to ten eight to twelve dollars each my bread and butter are you giving them showers now instead of baths is that what i said <laughs> oops not a shower in the bath in the washing machine. Lobbies always, they had some that were like $5, $8. You know, I'm a little bit hesitant to pay that much for some of the lobbies unless, you know, I go ahead and check comps. This one was Carter's, very cute. I paid $2, less the discount. Not quite sure, there's so many. Probably gonna be bread and butter, eight to 12. Here was another one. I paid two dollars for it also. I think it's yeah, Carter also. Again, probably bread and butter. I always like going to the baby sections. I tend to buy a lot there. Um, this is I paid three dollars for it. It wasn't it it was also on sale. I paid three dollars less the discount. Or plus the discount. No, this less yeah, the discount. less the discount. If you plus a discount, that's like extra tax. Yeah. This is child of mine, but look, it still had its paper tag. It's one of the crib plush. Don't know. I'm hoping 20 plus for it. 
But that's mainly why I bought that bag. This, I've had this several times. Don't think it makes noise. Love and Care 2006. I, I think it's just bread and butter. And oh, another lovey. I just listed what I thought was a cow, but I think it ended up being a um, buffalo. It was like $15 or $20. And I think this is it again. So hopefully if it's identical, I'll just up the quantity to two. And how much did I pay for that one? I did pay $4 for it. All right, and then look. This was $12 with, and a discount, um, but all of these are most bubble guppies. And there was a time when I did really, really well with them, but I thought I couldn't go wrong having this many. I'm pretty sure I have some vehicles. I may just go ahead and end that listing and include it with this and then divvy it out into small lots because a lot of these are the ones with the roller balls on them. And I do really well with bubble guppies. And then look, I figured if I do really, really well with the Club Penguin plush, hopefully I've got a winner here with all of these figures. I didn't even check the comps. They were $4. So I thought, you know, even if I can go through each one, Google lens them real quick, see if they're worth, you know, eight bucks or more by themselves or I'll start making lots maybe something that's like 1995 however many figures it takes to get there and then list that also but I like Club Penguin that first one we went to that day had a bunch of they were knights and such you said you said the great what they, adventures the great adventures that was just they were in rough shape and Very more rough. you'd have probably made your money back plus quite a bit but they were rough and it just we just didn't want to go down that path with the shape they were in. But half price day would have been really nice, but we were too busy. Yeah, but they wanted what? What was the bags? 50 or 60 or $70 for a bag, a gallon size bag. No, it, of... it was much bigger than a gallon. It was things like this. It was huge. Oh, yeah. But they were rough. I like finding great adventure stuff, um, but the condition really. And at that price, I would have made my money back, but no, you'll see it in the picking video because I go back and forth, back and forth, and I planned on going back, and then I changed my mind. I'm hoping that was bigger than a gallon bag now because in the picking video, if it comes out a gallon bag, I'm going to feel like a dummy. <laughs> I thought it was a gallon bag size, but it could have been like one of these. That's what I was thinking. It was more like that. All right, and then this. This is Fisher-Price flip track. It's uh, these little tracks. One side you can set it up and it's roads. The other side you turn it over and it's train tracks. Um, but it had lots of the vehicles, the bridge, just a bunch of that. I want to say, I, pay, I did pay it. It was $15. And I want to say I was planning on listing it like 50 or 60, somewhere in there. Um, so I just had to get it because you know me and the Fisher Price stuff. All right, and then this was actually the first one we went to. Let me see. Oh, this one they pulled the price tags off. So I don't know how much I paid. I want to say I only spent maybe twenty or thirty dollars there. But I grabbed this because it is um, Bass Pro Shop. It has a little rattle and the lovey. I want to say this was like $15 to $20. And then I had the bonus of this. I probably will keep them together because, you know, they're both, I guess, dear. So I'll just keep them together. I'm hoping maybe $20, $25 for the two of them. I saw a picture a while back on Facebook or whatever that said that it had a picture of a deer and a kangaroo. And that kangaroo were just deer that had been spent a lot of time working out. You don't get it? No. Well, hold on then. Let me look it up. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, weirdo. That's weird. You can never undo that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're going to pop that up on I'll, the screen. I'll, I'll, I'll find the picture and pop it up on the screen here. Weird. Yeah. Weird. 
All right, there was another bag of lovies. I think it had said there's three. All right, this one's Carter's again. Probably going to be bread and butter, but I just really love the pastel and the hearts. And then, oh, look at a little butterfly. It is just one you, Carter's again. Probably bread and butter. Ooh, he's starting to lag. This isn't a good plush to pick up. They are in pinks and whites and blues. Some are talkers, some are not. They do not so well, but I didn't pick it up for them. So I probably will throw that in my discard pile. This says Levtex Baby. Very cute. I've done well with some loveys that don't have an animal thing attached to it. I think there's one, it's got circles on it. I can't remember the brand though. Um, but I've done really well, so I, you know, I'm hoping at least bread and butter for it, but hopefully more. I think I showed an elephant here recently that's Angel Deer. This one is a little cat. I think the elephant was bread and butter. Some of these do better, um, but I'm sure I only paid probably two bucks or so for it. And then Robert and I went back and forth, back and forth. Do you remember how much we paid for this? It wasn't very much. Under five dollars. Yeah, I want to say it was yeah, maybe five. Maybe yeah. five, but there's. I don't remember what the issue was. Why we we went back and forth. The condition. Lots of list lists. I can't remember. But, a little wear on it, but yeah, the sticker has some edge wear. But I remember watching this. I'm showing my age because I remember watching this. It says 1975, but just very cute. One of the guys I went to high school with just posted like this past week that he had received for his birthday the emergency uh, board game and that he had gotten it when he was a kid and I guess his maybe his one that somebody in his family had gotten him that as a kind of a, a nostalgia, nostalgia thing. You sell nostalgia mm -hmm. and he had spent his career as a firefighter. Oh, that's very nice. And he said maybe maybe this show was what inspired him. Right, and then I grabbed this because look, it has VeggieTale characters in there. I see a knight. I see two of the I forget his name now, Larry Boy. Um, not sure who all these other figures are, but and then I see the little girl there, and that was primarily what I bought these for. It says little people on here, and there ain't a single little people in this bag. I think they're all knockoffs. So I still grabbed it. I'm hoping probably like eight to ten dollars for the Larry Boys, and then the other ones um, I may make a light it a lot if they're from the same set. Maybe another twelve to fifteen dollars for the t other two. All right. I don't know if this is from a wall. Might be. Might have to be. Let's look, Fisher Price. This is the Teddy Betty um, bear. It even says it up there. There is a plush. There is a another crib toy. There's several things. There was a whole nursery set that was the Teddy Betty bear series. Um, I, it might have to go up there for a little while. You guys can't see it, but I've still got a huge gap over this way that there isn't anything there yet. But I'm filling it in pretty quickly. Maybe you could put some of my stuff over there in that corner where it won't be seen. It's still not seen. See? That's what I mean. Right there. Right there. <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe $15, $20 for it. But again, it's probably for my wall. And then this. And I don't even know. I want to say this was only like $4. But it is two Polly Pocket compacts. It would be amazing if there's figures in them, but probably not. It'll just be, the, oh, look y'all. I see one of the figures. These are gold. These are gold. Yeah, this one's like squinky though. It's, I don't know if it's the original because I want to say those were just hard plastic and they, they had like a bend. I don't know. It's been a while. 
but it's the right size to go in this. What is the definition of squinky? Squinkies are those little, like, rubbery, they're current, they're contemporary, but they're just itty-bitty and they're squishy. I got a whole bunch of them over there that I've been sorting through. Um, but, yeah, that's good that I've at least got a figure. I'll just have to see if it's original. These are from, like, the 80s. Yeah, 19 or 90s. Let's see what's in the big one. I'm hoping something like that is at least like $20, $25, if not more. Let's see what this one is. Again, I want to say it's 1989. Oh, I don't see anything in this one. And I'm not sure if anything would have been here. But just another larger compact. Again, I'm hoping like $15, $20 for it. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because I've got stuff from that thrift store that we stopped at on our way to the Peaches to Beaches. But you mean the one you got thrown out of? Yes. The one that asked me to quit recording. They so. don't actually they don't actually throw you out. They just say, please don't record. Yes. And I'm pretty sure that it was the security guard lady that complained because... For whatever reason. Yeah, she saw me recording and then... She, but they confronted me. She sported an attitude, and then, I don't know why, she just started talking out loud, kind of in in my direction without talking to me, and then then the manager or somebody and came over. And then I get and, surrounded by three people saying, why am I doing it, and would I stop, so. And they made you call me? Yes, they made me call him to make him quit recording, so. Maybe I just looked scared. why I... I struggle, y'all. It is, isn't helping me with my issues about recording out in public. Because y'all know I've struggled since the beginning of starting these videos on recording out and about. So it's not helping. But we'll go ahead and end here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I can't wait to get it started listing. And I'll see you in the next video. Get to work. Bye.